I'm here at Sydney Wildlife World, right in the middle of the red kangaroo enclosure in Darling Harbour, Sydney. Now, kangaroos are amazing animals. Not only can they move at speeds of over 50 kilometres per hour, they can also jump as high as two metres. Kangaroos are native to Australia and they're part of the marsupial family, which means they have a pouch. When the baby's born, it's just the size of a cherry and looks like a tiny pink hairless worm. The baby stays in the pouch for over 12 months and only comes out when the mum thinks it's too big and heavy to carry around. What an incredible animal! You'll seriously have to come and check it out. Welcome to Pet Emergency. Now one of the things we commonly see in vet practice, particularly in young animals, is the ingestion of foreign bodies. That is, eating things that they shouldn't. This morning, Esso here swallowed a needle and thread. Let's take a look at the x-rays. Now you can see the needle there. It's sitting in the stomach and it's about five centimetres long. Needles can be really dangerous because they can damage the inside of the stomach. Thread can also be a problem because as it's going through the intestines, the intestines can bunch up, leading to an obstruction. Luckily for Esso, she'll be just fine. We were able to take the needle and thread out using an endoscope. An endoscope is where we pass a tube with a camera on the end down into the stomach while she was under an anaesthetic. You're a good girl, Esso. Let's take you back to your mum. Here we go. Thank you so much. You stay healthy now. Hi, Esso. No more needles. So don't leave things lying around the house. Have you ever thought about owning a slightly more unusual pet like Chelsea here? That's right, a pet chicken. Chickens make wonderful pets. Not only will you have your very own source of free range eggs, but they also eat almost anything such as kitchen scraps. So they're good for the environment. Now, you're probably thinking that you have to live on a farm to own a chicken. But that's not true. And today, I'm gonna to show you exactly where you can get your very own backyard chicken right in the middle of Sydney. So here we are at Rentachook, where Dave and his team put together these terrific backyard chicken coops. Let's take a look. So Dave, what type of chicken do you recommend for a backyard pet? Uh, uh, well, not this one. <laughs> um, uh, well, actually, we are actually holding the two ones that make, I find make the best backyard pets. You've got um, an Isa Brown right. and there's a crossbred laying hen. The great advantage of an Isa Brown um, is that they'll lay an egg a day, but also for first time chook keepers, uh -huh. um, they're uh, placid, easy going. Um, the kids can chase them around all day and, and, and you know they can get hassled by your pets and it doesn't bother them, they, they, you know, they'll, they'll still lay an egg that in the That sounds morning. like heaps of fun. Yeah. So is it difficult to keep chickens or do they pay their way through their egg laying, Dave? Well, let me tell you, they, they do make excellent pets, as you can see. Har, <laughs> chickens. And, um, and, uh, and, and they do pay their way. Yeah, you'll get a, a, a home -grown, fresh, homegrown egg that can still be warm from the hen that laid it um, uh, at uh, a price of about a third of what you would pay for a free-range egg in the supermarket. Well, it definitely sounds like the way to go. Thanks so much for chatting with us today, Dave. No worries, thank you. Wow, well, I hope you enjoyed the chickens, but next week we're going to check out what it's like to own your very own reptile when we look at the pygmy bearded dragon. Say goodbye, chicky. Did you know that humans have been riding horses for over 6,000 years? That's right, horse riding is still extremely popular, but you really do need to know what you're doing. Before you ride, remember to remove excess dirt and loose hair from the area that the saddle sits using a curry comb brush and a circular motion like this. Also, you need to clean out the excess mud from inside the hoof. To do this, you run your hand down the inside of the horse's leg, lean in, and that's a cue for her to lift up her foot. Cleaning out from the outer rim only, then gently let go. Finally, it's nice to reward your horse with a treat, like a carrot, but remember, always hold your hand out flat so they don't mistake your finger for a carrot. Good girl, Marzipan. <laughs> <laughs>